YouTube channel. My name is Natalie. If you're new here, in today's video, I am going to be unboxing the brand new 2020 MacBook Pro. I am so excited about this. Um, I have been wanting one of these for a very long time and when I heard that the new one just got released, I was so excited and I had to get my hands on one. Over the years, I've been using this laptop here. This is, I think it's 2012. Um, it's just the MacBook Air and my parents actually bought this for me to start a YouTube channel. When I think I was around like 15 years old, they wanted me to start a YouTube channel and I never did back then. But I actually did use it to its purpose because recently I did start a YouTube channel and this was the computer that I was working off of. Technically, I did use it as they wanted me to, but I just thought it's time to upgrade because um, when I upload things onto here, it's very, very laggy and slow. And even though it says that space is available, um, it won't download a lot of things and it won't let me upload videos because if I have two videos already done, it won't let me upload them. So I just needed something a little bit newer, even though this is still in great condition. MacBooks are definitely a good investment because I've had this for so long and it still works decently. So it's definitely time to upgrade. Um, this is the brand new MacBook Pro. It is the 13 inch and I got it in the space gray. I'm not a techie, I'm not a tech channel, so I have, this is gonna be just like a very generic, I do not know a lot of things about this, but I am going to unbox it for you guys. It is so heavy, like this one is really, really light, but this is the air, so maybe that's why. Um, but this one's very heavy, like when I, when she handed it to me, I was like, wow. Um, I'm just so excited to open this for you guys and start playing around with it. Um, I also got, cause my camera, I have the G7X and um, I use the USB port. The USB port is still on this MacBook and this one does not come with that. So I had to buy an adapter as well. So I just purchased one that looks like this. Hopefully it's the right one. The girl said it was, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, so this, is what it looks like and we're just gonna go ahead and open it right up. All right, here we go. Okay. Oh wow. Oh wow, I'm like so nervous. What the? Why is it taking so long to open? Wow. All right, so first off, it's a beautiful color. It still has the, the sticker over top of it, but I can just tell that it's a beautiful color already. So this is what it looks like just coming out of the box, and now we are going to take it out. All right, I'm just gonna set it over there for now. And it smells good, kind of. It smells expensive. Um, so we just have some instructions here. And then this is the power cable. This is very, very tiny. This is tiny compared to the one that I've been using. It is huge. Um, and then this is the adapter to the charging cable. Very, very heavy as well. Um, so I'm just gonna tuck those away. Oh, this is amazing. This is literally amazing. <gasps> okay, so I'm gonna put the box away. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, it is beautiful. It is literally beautiful. It is gorgeous. The color is very nice. I enjoy, um, when I got my iPad, I got the space gray as well. I just really enjoy the way it looks. Um, I would definitely choose the space gray over, I don't even know what this color is. The silver, I don't even know what it's called. Um, but this is them compared. My new one is definitely a little bit bigger. This one's an 11 inch, I think. And this one is just all the way around the same size compared to the Air, which 
it's the same size here and then it just gets smaller. Um, I have a case on the bottom of this, you can't really tell. Okay, here we go. All right guys, let's open it up and start playing around with it. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And we're just gonna peel off the, how do you peel this off? It's already turning on. It just knows, it knows I'm ready. Okay, so I'm just gonna let this turn on and then, oh, it, that was fast. To use English as the main language, press the return key. All right, so I'm just gonna take you guys through some of this as I set it up. Um, does anyone else know their Wi-Fi password off by heart? Or am I just the only weirdo? <laughs> It's just a whole bunch of numbers and letters. It's asking if I want to transfer any information. I'm going to say no. Um, and then it's asking me to sign in with my Apple ID. So I'm just going to type that in right now. Oh, the touch bar is really, really nice. And the keyboard is definitely, you can tell the keyboard buttons are not as thick as the older ones. It's very, very nice to type on. Um, Oh wow, this is so nice. Of course I don't know my password. Why would I know my password? Are you kidding me? I don't know my password for my Apple ID. Okay, we're just gonna hit set up later because... I don't know. Okay, we're gonna agree to the terms and conditions. Computer account, full name. Ooh. Um, the screen is way bigger than my old one. Um, if I wanna enable Siri, continue. Hey Siri. What? Does she, what? Does she already know who I am? She already knows my voice. Aren't you supposed to like set it up? Oh, I've heard about this before. Okay, touch ID, place your finger. Wow, this is cool. Wow. I've been missing out on these fun features. That is for sure. Been living in the darkness for years. So it's asking me if I wanna choose my look. I'm definitely gonna go with the dark mode because I think that looks just very sleek for now. Right now it's asking if I want true tone display. Your Mac automatically adapts to the ambient light. Mm, whatever. Okay, it's setting up now. There she is. There is the beautiful girl. I can already tell the keyboard is way more sleek and just nicer to type on. Like the mouse tracker here um, is bigger than the other one and you can already tell that this is just way thicker than my other one. I always have found when I had my hand like this and I was using the mouse, I would always get like an indent and it would really hurt but I can already tell like this is a little bit better. I mean it probably will still hurt after a while but it's better. Um, and then I just have all of my applications here looking fresh. I'll probably change the background sooner or later, but this is what it looks like, guys. It is looking beautiful. It's just so pretty. Okay, next we're gonna try out the touch bar. So I know that you can get Siri on it and you can turn the volume up and down. And I know if you press this button, it makes it bigger. So the brightness is here. You can turn the brightness up and down, which is really cool. Um, this one, if you have more tabs open, I believe if you hit this, it'll bring them all together and you can choose which one you need if you have other applications open. Um, this one here brings up all of your applications in your launch pad, I know that. And um, this one here, I don't know. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't know what that does. <laughs> Should read up on that, I have no idea. 
This is play, fast forward, pause, um, and then just your volume. And if you want to mute it. And Siri. Hey Siri. Hi, it's nice to meet you, Natalie. Oh, oh I can already tell we're going to be great friends. I'm not sure I understand. It's okay. We'll get used to it. Okay, I'm done Sorry, with you, Siri. I'm, I'm done. Sure I'm that. okay. And then right here is your Touch ID to get in to your computer. All right, so I'm just playing around with it, and then a little smiley face came up, and I was like, oh, what's that? So I clicked on it, and then all of these emojis popped up. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. So I knew that I wanted the MacBook Pro when I was gonna upgrade to a computer. Um, I just wanted something different, and I know that the uh, MacBook Airs tend to overheat really easily, and I noticed that with mine as well. Um, if I went to go upload a video, it you could hear the fan going, and I would have it on like a hard surface, like I wouldn't have it like on a blanket or anything, and it would still sound like it was gonna blow up on me. I can tell that they do have some overheating problems, um, even with my older one, and I, and on my other video of opening my iPad, I said that I was looking to maybe upgrade to a new laptop. And they also said, do not get like a MacBook Air because they do have overheating problems. So I did it and I got the Pro and um, this is the 256 gigabyte. I just did the lower model. Um, 256 for what I'm doing. I'm just like gonna be using it for making YouTube videos and stuff. I think that's more than enough space. Um, because I do delete my YouTube videos once they're up, like I never save them. So it'll be more than enough space if you're gonna be using it for something like that. If you're gonna be using it for school and such, I still feel like 256 gigabytes is more than enough space. I don't really know what you would need with more, um, but again, I'm not a tech person, so maybe there are reasons why. Um, but just for myself, I think this is a perfect amount of space for me. And I'm just super excited to start playing around with it a little bit more and maybe I'll upload another YouTube video of a review on this after I've used it for I don't know like a week or so Maybe I'll actually come back on and give you guys an updated review and what I think of it But so far it is beautiful and the screen is so nice. Okay, you guys can tell by this screen here That it's it takes up pretty much the entire computer this one, you can see that there is there is a big frame around it and it's just not as cute. It's just not as cute. Compared to this beautiful one, you can just tell that this is just There's speakers on either side of the keyboard. Um, so that's super cool and handy as well. I feel like the sound on this is gonna be amazing. Um, but yeah, I will continue to play around with this and if you guys want, I definitely will film a review for you guys and give you my final thoughts and after playing around with it for a week or so, what I actually think about it. But um, this one was a little bit cheaper than the, well actually it was a lot cheaper than the one with more space and I'll let you guys know what I think about that as well, but I think this is gonna be more than enough. But that's gonna be the end of this video. I am just so excited. I'm gonna play around with this for so long and just customize it and make it my own and just, I'm just so excited. I've been waiting a long time to film this video. I was just thinking about the right time and then once they said that the new model came out, I was like, all right, I think, I think it's time for me to upgrade and I'm so happy that I did even though my bank account is mad at me right now. If you guys have any questions about this Apple product, I'll try my best to answer them in the comments. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.